Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install a free classic typewriter inspired blog post template for Divi. This is the final template we are aiming to achieve. So, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is to go to our theme builder because we're going to build everything from the theme builder. Now, I almost forgot. If you want to use the uh, same image that we're going to be using in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below where you can get that image that we're going to use for the background. All right, so now let's head over here to Theme Builder. So I'm going to select my Theme Builder and we are going to apply this design to all the posts. So we need to click here on this plus button and choose all posts. Press on create and now we have our templates to start uh, working on. So the, the very first thing we need to do is to, of course, go into the body. So this is where we're going to do all the design. So I'm going to click here on add body and we are going to build custom body. All right. So the next step is to come over here to start building because we're going to build this all from scratch. And then I'm just going to close this. Next, we're going to come over here to the top left and go into our section settings and add a background color. Right, so I'm going to click on this plus button and paste my color in here. But of course, you can use any color that you want for your design. But uh, this is the color that we're going to be using for this tutorial. Now, if you want to follow along step by step, I recommend that you uh, also take a look at the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. All right, so let's continue on by coming over here to design spacing. What we need to do here is to add a padding of 200 pixels, both to the top and the bottom just to give our design some breathing space. Next, we're going to go to our border. I'm going to come over here to border and uh, we are going to add a border width of 100. So I'm going to add it here and the color of the border width needs to be white. So I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool and just add my white color in here. So pretty much that's all we need to do for now. Next, we're going to save this and then we're going to start adding our rows by clicking on this plus button and adding single column and then we are going to go into our row settings and uh, adjust our padding so let's close this and go into this gear icon to go into our row settings and then let's go to the design tab so here we need to go to spacing and let's add our padding which is going to be zero both to the top and the bottom but notice i added this chain icon because that just adds the same value both to the top and the bottom. All right, so now that I've done that, uh, the next step is to add an image module. So I'm going to save this, click on this plus button, and I'm just going to search for my image module here, and here it is. So this is where we get to use the image that I mentioned earlier on that you need to get from the post. So I'm going to click here on the image, upload an image, and you can see now it has been added. Right, so let's go over here into the design tab and uh, let's work on spacing. So here we need to make sure that uh, show space below image is set to yes. And then we're going to come over here to, to our top margin and set this to minus 150. And uh, we're going to continue on and also add a margin here on the left to minus 12. So basically what we're doing here is to we're just moving our image to the right position. So that's all I need to do. I'm going to save this. And then next I'm going to go in and add another column. So this time I'm going to click on this plus button and add two equal columns. And we're just going to close this for now. So what we're going to do here is to start by adding a text module. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for text and here it is. So for this, we're going to use some dynamic text. So over here on the body text, we are going to add the post publish date. So here it is, I'm gonna select that and save. Now, as you can see here, we have this date format. Now, if you wanna go in and change it, this is where you'd come and change the date format. So depending on where you are in the world, you can just come over here and choose what works for you. So in this case, I'm just gonna go with, let's go with this one here. So in this case, let's go with this one here, and then we're going to save. Now it's time to work on our design of our text. So I'm gonna come over here to design, and then I'm gonna go into my text settings. So here I'm gonna change my font from default to a font called Special Elite. And here it is, and it looks like a typewriter. And then we are going to set our font weight to bold, our text color to black, 
So I'm gonna drag this all the way down here. And then our text size is going to be 1.4 REM. I'm just gonna enter it in here and then save. Next, we're gonna clone this three times. So let's start off by working on this one here. So I'm gonna click on the gear icon to go into the settings. And uh, what we're gonna do here is just to delete this and add another dynamic content. And this time it's gonna be post categories. And here it is, I'm gonna select post categories. Save that. Let's move, let's save this, move on to the next one. And this time this is going to be the post author. So again, I'm gonna delete that, go into my dynamic content, post author, save that. Okay, so we're gonna save. And then on the final one, we're gonna go in and uh, this one here is going to be post uh, comment count. So click on my dynamic content and choose post comment count. Right, so after here, we're going to add the word comments, links to comments area. I'm, I'm gonna leave it as uh, yes. And I'm also going to add a space here so that it looks much better. There we go. Right, so I'm gonna save that. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to just drag this over here to the right. And we're also going to drag the comments here below the name over here on the right. So while we're here, you can see here our link text color has a color to it. So we can change this by coming over here to design and we need to change the link color here to black. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come over here and use my recent color. Save that. We're also gonna do the same over here on the comments and change the color here to black as well. There we go, so that looks much better now. Now the next thing we need to do here is to change our text orientation. So I'm gonna hold on the command key to do multi-select and then go into the module settings, design, alignment, and we're going to align to the right and save. The next step is to add uh, another row so I'm gonna click on this plus button and this time it's gonna be a single column. And we're also going to add a text module to this. So I'm gonna search for text and select this. So this time this body is going to be post or archive title. So let's add our dynamic link here. So let's go to our post and archive title. And then we're gonna go into this gear icon. So for the before, we're just gonna add our H1 tag. And on the after, we're also going to add the closing to that tag. So this is always going to be set to heading one, and then we're gonna save. Now let's stylize our font here. So I'm gonna click here on design, and uh, let's go to our heading text, and you can see here it's set to heading one. Now I know I've used this font before, and here it is, special elite. And the color here needs to be set to black. So I'm gonna go to my recent used colors, set this to black. And then I also need to set my heading color. So I'm gonna come over here, and this time this is gonna be 3.5 EM. And we also need to set our line height here to 1.5. Right, so with that all set, we also need to add some margins. So I'm gonna come over here and go to spacing. So our margin top is going to be 150, and for the bottom one is also going to be 150. Okay, so moving on, we need to add the post content module. So I'm gonna save this, and then we are going to click on this plus button and search for post content, and here it is. Okay, great, so now that we have our post content module, there's a lot to go in and customize here, so let's head over straight to our design tab. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon, design, text, and let's add our font here straight away, you can see that things have changed dramatically there. So you also need to add our heading text. So we can start here with uh, heading one, change this to special elite, go to heading two, do the same thing, and just continue on until all your headings are set to the right font. Okay, so I think I'll go up to H5 because I don't see myself using H6. But anyway, let's just go ahead and do it. Right, so now that I've added all my headings, let's go ahead and add a CSS ID to this. So I'm gonna come over here to, to Advanced, CSS ID and Classes, and I'm gonna add my CSS ID as Post Content Module. So let's save this for now. And then next, we are going to go in and add 
another module and this is going to be a code module. And this is where we're going to add our CSS code. So I'm just gonna paste it in here. And also if you wanna use the exact same CSS code that I use in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. So you can see now that um, everything has been added in there and now it's time to add a background, another section. So let's save this and let's head over and add another section. So I'm gonna come all the way down here and click on this plus button. This is gonna be a regular section. And uh, we also need to give this section a background color. So I'm just gonna close that and click on my section settings, click on background. And then I'm gonna add my background color. So just like what we did before, we're also going to add a border. So I'm gonna come over here, click on border. And this is going to be a hundred pixels. We're also going to change the color to white. So I'm gonna to go to my recent colors, choose white and then save. Next, we're gonna add our columns, column structure here. We're gonna add a single column to this. And now we're gonna add our comments. So I'm gonna search for my comments module and select it. Right, so what we need to do is to go in and change all the fonts and also the design of our form. So I'm gonna come over here to design fields because we're gonna start here with the fields background color. So we're gonna set this to transparent and then our fields text color is going to be black. And then for our fields font, and where is that? Here we go. So our fields font is going to be special elite. So you can see here, everything has been added. And then moving on our fields text size. Again, let's add this uh, before we move on. And this is going to be 1.2 REM. Now for our form, let's, uh, let's go to border. So we're gonna scroll all the way down here until we get to our borders. And what we're gonna do here, instead of having the borders around everything, we're just gonna have them to the bottom. And the size of our border bottom here is going to be one pixel. Okay, so with that set, we also need to set our color here to black. So we're gonna go ahead and choose, in fact, here is black. Okay, so let's make sure that's one. Okay, so moving on. Uh, all you have to do now for the rest of this is to go in and um, set all your fonts. So for comments count here, let's change this to special elite, move on to the next one here. So all you have to do is to just go in and change the font. So as you can see, it makes it easier if you click on this paintbrush tool because that, that will take you directly to the item that you need to make changes to. So I'm gonna continue on here and set all my fonts and pretty much we are almost done. Now, when we take a look at this button here, you can see it's out of place. So let's go ahead and uh, work on our button. So I'm just gonna scroll down here until I get to my button and let's activate use custom styles for button. Now this will allow us to go in and customize our button. So the very first thing we need to do here is to set our text size. So I'm gonna set this to 1.2 REM. Button text color, we're gonna set this to white. So I'm gonna come over here and choose my white color. Next, I'm going to go to the background color and this is where we need to set this to black. So again, I wanna go to my recent colors and choose black. And for my button border width, I'm gonna set this to zero. And then for the border radius, set this to zero as well. Now, as you can see, our button font here doesn't look right. So let's go ahead and fix that by coming over here to button font and choosing special elite. Now let's add a bit of CSS code here by coming to the advanced tab, custom CSS. And we are going to add our CSS to our comment body. So I'm just gonna come all the way down here to comment body and set my CSS code. So all this has done is this has just given us some more uh, margins to the top just to give this design a nice look. So all I have to do now is to save my theme builder. So I'm gonna save this first, and then I'm going to just make sure everything is looking fine here, and I'm gonna save this as well. Great. Let's close out of this, save changes. And now let's go to a post that we have on our site. So I'm gonna to go to all posts and I'll just go with this one here, click on a view and let's see what this looks like. So as you can see, our template has taken effect and everything seems to be looking great. 
So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.